pumpkins. We carve them, we make pies from them, we even chew their seeds. Well, today at the Illinois Institute of Technology, they launched pumpkins. ABC 7's Frank Matthew was on hand today for the third annual IIT pumpkin launch. Launching pumpkins, as it turns out, is purely academic. All you need is a bunch of Illinois Institute of Technology students and a challenge. Build a machine that somehow blasts pumpkins into not too distant space. I think we'll be able to go a good 50, 60 feet, maybe even, I think our top goal is about 100 feet. The 19 different teams were each given $300 to build their contraptions. No electricity or explosives allowed, just ingenuity and lots of work. It was pretty much uh, every Saturday for the last month and a half we've been spending on it. What, what did this do to your grades? <laughs> I'll let you know. The brand new president of IIT, John Anderson, was part of one team. He was just inaugurated today. Do you know as the new president what your job is today? What my job is here? Right here. Right here? It's Pumpkin a... catcher. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, I can go down there and do that. I can catch it. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering, the world's record for pumpkin chucking is 4,434 feet. That's like three quarters of a mile. But that's with air compressor pumpkin cannons. These are much simpler machines. They are sort of medieval wood and weights devices, but still they did some good launching. A new record was set at 234 feet. Did they tell you what your second job is on your first day as president? My second job? Yeah. I was supposed to pick up the pumpkin pieces. Pick up the pumpkin. That's my job, yeah. <laughs> pumpkin launching 101 at IIT. Now this is an interesting physics class. Frank Matthew, ABC 7 News. They got some great Fine. engineering going on there, that's for sure. <laughs> if you've seen the cost of pumpkins lately, you know it's not cheap to be chicken. <laughs> And now, a special group from Elmwood Community High School. They recently had a competition at their own high school on Friday. And this is the winning team from that high school. Let's hear it up for them. And now Roger's mom, Rebecca Tober. 